Tommy, it's your ball game. What happened last time? It's your family. Oh, man. Your crap it's dad. It's true. We may or may not have secured a safe place for my sister's kid. With Bobby Yaga, don't anybody worry about that. Worry. Also, I may or may not be high up in the spring court. Don't worry about it. I'm um, worried. Basically, don't worry about it. Don't anyway, so that happens. Don't worry about it. It's not, we it's not chase... your business. You, you got, you're not chase... saying it with the right accent. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry, worry about, about it. it. Yeah, don't worry about but it. But yeah, we chased down good old dad, and we beat him up. Yeah, and, you did uh, that. What are you, a cop? And then I fucking, uh, you know, Klaus over here sent him to the Cathedral of Ash. I'm not saying he deserved it, but he deserved it. Um, And then the Bear King and whatever the, what is that lady's name? The Queen of Night and cool. Magic. Uh, I was going to say Night and Song, but I think that's uh, fucking Game of Thrones or something. Um, We were like, hey, shit's cool. And they were like, all right, cool, whatever. And my sister's like, the queen, yo. Yep. And then we decide we're going to go have some respite. Uh, I'm going to bury my dad in the cult wall. Hopefully some people will be banging my family members. Hopefully it'll put some reason into their heads. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing that will that puts you in the mood more than your father being killed. It's yes. true. Especially because especially, people... they actually liked your dad. Yeah, especially you know, for Menard, it's basically a rebound. Yeah, True. like sometimes I've seen wedding crashers and bust the saddest nut of your life. That's true. Why do you think all this snow is? You think that's fucking snow you're walking through? Come on. Mm. That's true. Why is Damn. it moving? There's just so it, much of it. You mean it doesn't freeze? It's like uh it's like oozes from D D. They just move around. You saw that mourn porn. You ever fucking sneezed Ooh. into a some baby powder? <laughs> Alright. <sighs> So, that is, it's close enough to what happened. Uh, not only that, you secured another artifact, the Crescent oh, yeah, yeah. Mage Blade. A uh, powerful weapon that has two forms, one being a wickedly large, curving, two-handed sword. Uh, a great sword that uh, uh, you use basically with your spell attack modifier. And the other one, a uh, staff that increases... The DCs of all your spells, so you can switch back and forth between them, uh, hey. and it ups one. And it, wow, this blade is uh, got all sorts of bonuses. Gives you some sweet ass like armor protection shit. Yeah, you know, uh, it's all that yeah. nonsense. It also lets yeah. you. It also is able to eat spells by counterspelling. But it's none of it matters. You all. Hell yeah. A comet falls to the ground, and you all die. The Thank end. Thank God. All right. Pathfinder 2. So. Maul, is that a Jossum shirt? You. Yeah. Rad. The plan was to teleport to the Coldwood, yes. So yes, that, indeed. despite the fact that your father was a real, a real piece of work, uh, he is at least, at the very least, going to be put... To to rest, probably where he would have wanted to be first to put to rest in the cold wood, his home, the very place where he endeavored to rise and lift his family from the obscurity of the frozen bowels to, uh, well, to what it has become. Uh, your sister is now the Silver Queen, uh, the Queen of the Moonlit Court. So, that's something. Also, you're, you're uh, the queen of witches, so you know. Yeah, don't worry about it. He uh, he really got uh, he really got, he really got the fucking job done, didn't he? It's true, it's true. Just goes to show you, brow beating and abuse, all around, does really well. Look, it only I mean, it only cost you an lost. arm. Yeah, you got damn. it. You got it back. You just it's lost true. the other one. Yeah, I don't need that. One. Yeah, you don't need it. You had a, you had a spare. Well, what? Tell me, Aruna. Tell me about. Tell me about going home. Oh God, I don't know. Ah. Uh, is your fucking backstory? It is, in fact, unfortunately, mine. 
God. Has he, oh, hmm. I guess the question is, Colin, in the, yes. in the multiple years that not been there, has he done any changes to the village, or is it relatively the same? Mm, it's relatively the same. His eyes have ever been turned elsewhere. Gotcha. gotcha he had gotcha. designs on positions outside the village. Who needs a renovated, nice village when you've got, you know, winter courts and things like that, you know? Hey, that's that's an act. I mean, I don't know. You could use a fresh cut of paint. Just... Yeah. That sounded yeah. Spanish. It was like, he walked, <laughs> was like, Aruna, your it's village is, immigrant your village is ass. Yeah, yeah. I would say it's at least rather, it's definitely more quaint than most places you've been, and a lot smaller than you think. Uh, heavily laden with magic, obviously. A lot, a lot smaller than uh, you think. Come on, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I would say we are, we are not, like, it's definitely not, like, wallowing in the mud and the filth peasants, but a lot more of, like, very traditional very like uh secluded clan stuff uh there's a lot of illusion magic because we kind of try to hide in the cult woods so people don't know where it's at uh yeah i don't know i mean i don't know colin you want you want me to fucking you want it's, it's good good job tommy thank you thank Do, you so does much. does the village have a name burtwood yeah it's it's burtwood how did you know I like Burtwood a lot, actually. You know what, Colin? I'm not sure that we that I actually put a name in. That's I don't. I also know. don't remember seeing a name there. That's why I asked you if it had Burtwood. a name. Give Burtwood. me one second. Burtwood. About how Burtwood. many families live here? Oh man, there is at best, I would say, like a bake, like no joke, a baker's dozen. Okay, but, so you've got a baker, but what about the rest of the people? <laughs> oh my god, you dumb bastard. <laughs> yeah, no joke, I think Baker's dozen because... It was aggressively collared right there. <laughs> That's true, aggressively con. Um, At least in my mind, Dad's been hard at work making it so the only people in the village are useful, so there are only a certain handful of clans that are still around within our group, I suppose. Very authoritarian. Fair enough. Yep. You got that name? Oh Burtwood. god, I'm working on it, buddy. Ah, uh, it's carefully curated, just like the Elder Roy Hunt. Yeah, so it's all uh, yeah. Ready. Four years. Le hey now. Le Leche de rata. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I don't know. I feel like his father would. Uh, I feel like Aruna's oh, father would name it after him. It's Atlas Town. Yeah, you're right. Atlasville population Ooh, Atlas Atlasville because no good. one else matters. It's Atlast Atlasta. It's Atlanta but with Atlas. Uh -oh. I, I hate Atlanta but with Atlas. <laughs> you you walk to the baker and you get shot. Yeah, I worked really hard to come up with a name. I'm working on it. We got Fair summer enough. meat and fall with this delicious Linen Kugel summer shandy and the Jacko pumpkin ale. I was gonna Colin, say that you're was not like a sponsor. Right oh, oh, yeah. oh! I heard summer meat and fall, and I was like, "What? Why is there summer meat and fall?" Summer sausage is pretty good, though. Yeah. I do like some summer sausage. Yeah, it's, it's good. I mean, it's, it's basically tastes. It's basically, basically like, like a sausage. salami. What's the name of the fucking town, Tommy Jesus? <laughs> Come up with go. a town name. There you go. That's I the really name. Like Burtwood. Pronounce that how you want. It's coming moon. My, no, it's my, not. <laughs> just kidding, it's New Moon. <laughs> my Tina? Yeah. My I don't care. Yep. Burntwood. You, you arrive in the town of fucking Burntwood. <laughs> no, Burntwood. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Whatever you want to do. You arrive back yes, at a ramshackle small village that your eyes have knit rested upon in how many years? Five years. How long have we been on this adventure? 
is the real question. Uh, in the game, it's been like a year and a half, two years. Dear God. I, it's, it is roughly three, three and a half years. Three Seven. years since your eyes rested upon the white silvery expanse of Mytna. It is similar and yet vastly... Don't fucking delete the fucking name, Tommy. Because I'm going to forget it. <laughs> oh, no. It's got to be in the chat. Okay. I'm, I'll write it. That's fine. Can we get an F in the chat for the name? The, yeah. the town of Lunesta. Adar said it. <laughs> oh no, not Lunesta. Oh, that's good. That's good, actually. Uh, your eyes like, have not uh, like rested upon this game. burnt wood. Yeah, that's good. It's like dead wood, but uh, cattier. Burnt. Yeah. It is very similar to when you left. No more than a handful of pathetic Pathetic buildings clustered around a town square that has a fountain that sort of sp you previously sporadically spurt water out uh, at random intervals. Now it sits frozen over the beautiful, if imposing, tenebrous boughs that cast themselves over the town now sit covered in rime and icicles. The snow lays heavy across the great limbs, causing them to sag low, almost as if they are willows weeping over the state of your town. It's quiet. Little more than the wind and uh, the swirling of snow fills the air as you look across this pathetic little town. This town that used to seem to encompass the entirety of your world, now a little blip compared to the vast expanses that you've traveled over these past three years, from the cold wood to the far reaches of the northern coast, into the very depths of the hells itself. It seems quaint and, well, a bit sad, but there's still the faintest pang of nostalgia that rises up in your gut, causing it to clench as you look over it. And remember the the trials, the pains of losing your arm. Your father berating you still fills your ears as you look over it. And you look back at uh, uh, the wrapped... Uh, did, you, did you bring him in a coffin or did you just wrap him up? Th throw him in the fucking doggy bag. We'll take him. Yeah, no. 100%. Yeah, I think we just wrapped him up, and then yeah. somebody volunteered to carry him. Just throw throw him in the plastic bag. We'll we'll, we'll figure out something when we get there. Yeah, we'll be yeah. fine. We get one of those uh those cardboard boxes that you're like uh you're talking about orders coming. Hell yeah. Despite all of this, all the things he's done. Not just to you, but to all your family. Your father does lay wrapped in probably silks and linens and coverings uh, finer than the finest clothes that are anyone in this town owns. You know, a byproduct of dying in a, a royal court. The air is heavy. The snows are thick. And the town is silent. What do you want to do? Was that too much description for you, Tommy? Not enough. Alright, I can keep going. <laughs> You'd be surprised how much I can fucking do this. I'm begging uh, you, please keep going. Yeah, well, it's the you know what? Of my game. It's fucking I'm begging you. Exposition. I've it's heard that up. I've heard that more than once from uh, Cody. That's true. Yep. Well, I guess first order of business. Go back to the old the old home, the old homestead, the house, what have you. Because uh, I imagine, just like before being in the cult world, not everybody's really accustomed to the cold. So we should at least get somewhere semi-warm. And I'm assuming it's I got a cold, cold resistance ring. I'm good. 
Yeah. Uh, it is, it is. Uh, extremely cold. cold. Not only is it uh, winter, it also is supernatural winter. Yep. Well, I'm like... dead. Uh, Oops, last time we checked in on the... Uh, Cole's just like... Nope. Eh. Fucking... Is, uh, wow, why am I brain farting his name? So um, the Winchesters are here is what you're saying? Gen. I didn't... Gen. Gen? Oh, Gen. it's that probably, was, probably was been weird. a while. That was the last time we checked in on Gen. It was a we while. Don't, we don't know where the front is. We haven't asked him in a while. Yeah, well... Well, you got shit to do, Beaver. Okay, we're having a <laughs> sentimental moment here. You son of a bitch. Well, I was, I was more asking, like, is... Is the front on us right now? Nah. You don't know. I'm gonna wager this far up north and it being so secluded that they probably don't care. Wordlessly, Ilkay and Badar walk forward, following a path they've no doubt followed hundreds of times in their lives. Long trod to your familial estate. A simple, if not comfortable estate, situated in the great boughs of the cold wood. Or, well, not great boughs, the great trunks of the cold wood. Um, with, do you want to describe your estate, or do you want me to make up stuff for your estate? I... Oh, that's hard. Because I'd say I probably have a real skewed view of it, because it's kind of an unpleasant place, unfortunately. Um, when you say estate, Colin, you're are we talking motley, like three you're motley little, moderately, uh, nice. moderately nice, but, you know. Unfor I would... Okay, at least from the outside, it's probably, like, more lavish on the outside than it is to appear outwardly fancy. Um, for sure, kind of, like, authoritarian, if you will, to kind of show everybody how big and fucking important you are. But then, uh, the actual inside, while it has nice places, probably for my dad, the rest of it's kind of stark, uh, and barren, and just, like, empty space with a bunch of bullshit in it that doesn't really matter. Uh, also, if he doesn't care about it, it's probably overgrown at this point. If no one's been around to take care of it. Would he have bothered to keep a caretaker or anything? Ah, uh, no. Yeah, I figured not. Because I assume since the whole time I've been gone, they've been in the Feywild, for the most part, right? Eh! Since I've been eh. gone. It's on and off. Alright. I don't have... Yeah. A super great description, to be honest. It's okay, I can handle is, that. Okay. <laughs> you pass amongst the great trees, and uh, you find yourself walking once again on the familial estate. In an, a way, it's as savage and severe as the, the man who called it home. The architecture is jagged. Uh, hard angles, a stark contrast to the uh, flowing natural landscape around it. Uh, go ahead and roll an arcana check. Baby. Just roll. Oof. Thank oh, you. Okay, okay, I guess this doesn't matter. Uh, Technically, everyone, or it could be a nature check, even. But you can do whatever you want. It's the architecture itself is savage and utilitarian. You can see there are several trees that have been hewn off near the tops, um, carved into almost, and they're cut into almost wicked-looking wooden spears. Each one, roughly two feet thick that point up to the great cloudy sky above. Aruna, your father, as you look at this, uh, used to speak of the passage of time and the movement of moons. As you remember, uh, you see that these are actually 
these previous, the, the, this, these spear-like trunks that stick up out of the ground where previously you may have thought were meant to be a sort, of, sort of intimidating or imposing. Uh, looking at it now with what you've learned and how you've developed, uh, and thinking back in your past about how what your family would do, um, these are actually capable of measuring moon heights, and they've been carefully, for some reason, cut to, they were carefully cut to certain points, um, so that at certain points of the year when moons match up to them, it seemed to mean something to your father, although I guess technically you'll never know now. <laughs> yeah, next time I'm gonna raid the shit out of his study. Hell yeah. I can't, I can't speak with dead, and he just laughs at you. Yeah. Damn. Wait, can we cast can't Speak with Dead if his, dead. <laughs> if his soul gets sent to the fucking Cathedral of Ash? I don't know if we can do that anyway. He, uh, he, uh, you talk, the you, Cathedral you, of Ash you cast Speak with, exception. uh, you cast Speak with Dead when he comes back, he says, God, you're boring me back to death, and he just keels over back dead. <laughs> ten out of ten. All right. Fantastic. The actual, like, buildings of your, uh, home are sit slightly elevated off the ground. Usually they've been taken three or four trees have been used as, like, columns or posts. Uh, and there's been, like, a floor that's built across it, maybe one foot, two feet above the actual, f like, ground itself. Uh, the forest floor. Uh, dark sort of wooden stairways lead up to these... You know, elevated buildings. As uh, you stepping inside, it is as you described, largely like kind of empty. It's like you remember it. Yep. Very little ch has changed. Uh, the you know desk that you like tried to st like steal books from and shit that's still there probably still sits open. Who knows? Mm hmm. What are Ilke and Bedard doing with good old dad immediately? Because I don't, I'm not in the position to boss them around, in my opinion, or to give suggestions. They've been large, them. they've been largely quiet. Uh, you can see, well, Ilke has a clenched jaw and a set sort of demeanor. Uh, Bedar sort of almost listlessly moves from room to room. His heavy-soled boots clacking across the wooden floor as he holds one hand out, running it, his fingertips along the walls, uh, his eyes sort of lost in a faraway memory. Fantastic. I can keep uh, describing the scene if you want, Tommy. You're good. Um, I'll go around and light, like, the fireplace, and I guess start getting it warm. And then I, I don't know if we've established this. Is anyone particularly a good cook we have? Eckhart. Uh, I used to work in a tavern. That's true. I mean, that's entirely fair. Um, I'll probably help my mom cook something at some point that I might remember. I guess light fires. Uh, see if there's anything that can be made and possibly have... Um, Vent, uh, Venta Boon, Brune Cloud, Brew Cloud, whatever his name is on Discord for fun. Um, have him cook something up, I guess, because we're going to have to eat at some point. All right. All right. Leave my siblings alone. Um, try to find enough rooms or accommodations for everybody. But keep myself busy, I guess. Yeah. You know. There are fireplaces. Uh... Mostly, the fireplaces are generally only stone work in the entire buildings. Uh, there still sits ashes in ones as uh, you have to go and sort of sweep them out. Throw some wood in the fireplace and light it up and soon uh, orange light and warmth begins pressing back against the cold 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 wood it's called the cold wood for a reason oh my yeah. god especially because it's Dang. nice and supernatural cold now yeah nice cold. do you guys want me to go hunt 
for something to eat? I mean, I guess you could. If Henley, Henley hunts and I'll, I'll cook, cook it. Yeah, that's fine. Let me go. Uh, might as well a survival check, Colin. Yep. Yeah. Right. That one. They're going to think Henley's a god or something. And they're going to start to... Yeah. You have not I mean, seen he's anyone. Not too far off. I figure not. A 19, Colin. <laughs> you head out into the swirling snows to... In the hopes of game, you're from the cold wood, so, you know, it's not... Even though it is a supernatural cold, it's not something you can't deal with, and... As you make your way out, you travel for, uh... Maybe a mile or two. Um... And you find... That... There's almost a... A preternatural hunter's sense within you uh having walked these woods so often and dealt with the game that something is wrong something is not right things just feel off and you're not sure if it's you know the unusual winter the surprising lack of game as you sort of travel onwards the silence uh, the lack of any sort of interaction with people, even though this is supposed to be a village. There's something that is eerily wrong. Do I find any game or no? You do not find any game. Oh oh, well, uh... I guess I go back then? All right. It... Um... Colin? I understand there's no game. Do we... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm all... Go ahead. Right. I was going to see, um, I, I pull out my map and I have Aruna point out exactly where we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do that. Hopefully install Reich. Yeah. Um. This is like, this is deep, deep, like wooded, like very hard to get through terrain. And very, um, very, very secluded. Mentioned no game, uh, and I, I heard the front mentioned. How far are we? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out okay. where we are exactly, so I can see. Yeah. How compared to how far I remember the front being, and see like what the. I mean, it's been a month. Video. I know. Yeah. So. May, may, yeah, very well been, mistaken, may very well have been. May very well have been more than the, that. Yeah. Is, um, I think it starts like this way, and goes east. Is that is that right? Say so what? Hey, they're on the star. Right it now. starts about yeah. there and it goes to the, the co east. The cold wood's the white part. Oh, it's okay. It's all the white part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where where are we in the cold wood though? Was what I'm asking for since Tommy. Just Tommy Isn't it up by the the sisters? I thought. I just I just said I'm gonna take. Or I mean, am I conflating towns? It 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 depends on where Tom is. Tommy's town, so he's the one that. That knows where it is. What's the, no, the, what's, the three sisters was Henley's place, right? Yeah, what is... Okay. What's, yeah, like, the me. deepest, most, Once. like, um, reclusive part of the Coldwood? Uh, like, up up the north, past the mountains. Yeah, it's definitely up past the mountains, then. Is that over here? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be okay. up, yeah, yeah, yeah. up past the mountains. So, just, like... Yeah, so we're, like, considerably far away from danger, I would say. Well... Okay, and Colin, do I know about where the front was last known to be? Uh, you, uh, the last... That that's drawn? That's, that's, that would be old. It had, the last time you heard it, it already advanced past the capital, because the capital okay. had been snowed over. Yeah. Well, um, I guess while we're doing all this, too, I'll send, uh, Bert and Al form out. Because you said, because when Henley comes back, tells me there's no game and he hasn't seen any people. I'm gonna have Bert check around the town. Uh, yeah, and, and then that also that does seem pretty odd. Can yeah, we? And then is also there um the woods? Is there any like water nearby that I could try to fish in? Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, you'll have to to dig through the ice though. It's fro the lakes and streams are frozen over. Okay, I'll I'll try that. All right, I want to go fishing with Klaus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You make your way, there are obviously like little rivers and 
streams. Uh, there's even a fairly sizable lake uh, that you are able to find. It is completely iced over at this point. Uh, with a pretty thick ice, you're going to have to basically cut a hole through it to get to the bottom. But uh, you certainly can. Uh, go ahead and give me an athletics check. Colin, can I use the feature to expend tax from my sword to do that and just drill through the ice and just do it down? Sure. Where I extend the blade and, and just, I just, I just pop a hole in. Sure. Uh, you take the mighty sword and uh, you slam it hard into the ice and you extend the sort of blade downwards as it sends chips of it flying. Like some sort of strange snow cone machine. Um, as as Modius feels pain as he realizes what his sword <laughs> was just used for. He goes, ow, I hate the cold. That's true. Oh no, my one weakness. <laughs> it takes a couple of hefty, heavy blows with the sword. And the average sword would probably be significantly blunted by this. But you're a supernatural sword is able to cleave through the ice to make a, a hole through the roughly six inches of ice. It is real frozen. Oh yeah, that's that's fucking deep. The hole is small, but doesn't need to be too big to cast a line down through it. You set up a couple of chairs, crack, crack open a couple of, a couple cold ones, um, talk about... I uh, offer my, uh, my, my infinite hot coffee thermos. That is hell yeah. You can have some hot coffee. Rock yeah. comes by. Oh boy, Femboy Fishing. I love this channel. Hell yeah. You talk about how... Uh, oh, hang on, let me get my skirt on. You talk about hey. how, how ass Justin Fields was last year and how it's not going to be any better this year. Amazing. He's gonna tear his ACL, I just know it. Think fingers fucking crossed. Amazing. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh we'll get back to fishing. Uh you were sending up Bert the owl. Uh to look for some people. First off, to see if the village has been abandoned for some reason. And then to see if there's also like any animals at all anywhere. Bert soars into the sky. His great wings uh, catching the rising, swirling winds of the storms that sort of rage around you. The blizzard that blows all about you, easily finding the height to glance over the entirety of the region. Uh, the entire village, no movement to be seen outside the small tendrils of smoke that sort of rise curling from the estate of your own. Doesn't seem like anybody's around. But whenever if... you whenever you think, oh. why would they leave? There's not a bad reason. Yeah. They are technically part of Stalreich, and there's been a general evacuation for all of Stalreich, basically. Yeah. Makes sense. Probably better that way, so we don't have to go through a explanation as to why the head of the village more or less is you know being brought back wrapped yeah. up in linens i'm imagining the end of fiddler on the roof where they're singing anna tefka yes exactly uh how recently does it seem like it's been evacuated uh, roll an investigation check hey i'm like okay at that not long. Uh, maybe a, a month, two months. Okay. So no luck on finding game. No They're luck fishing, on so we'll have fish. finding game. However, the only movement that Bert sees is Henley moving through the trees. And worryingly, the Shadows of the trees seem to bend and almost reach out at Henley as he passes between the great trunks. What? <laughs> That's not 
Do I notice that at all? Uh, you have not noticed that. Is that like an enchantment around the forest that we put in place, or you, is this something else? It's not it? something you know of. Oh boy. I will have Bert go kind of corral Henley back to the house, also, if he will listen. I imagine it comes a little bit as a shock as passing down between the bright rails, uh, Bert sort of flaps in front of you, Henley. Who? 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 I have Steinhurst with me, right? Yep. I mean, she can kind of like half track. I go, what does she, what does he want? Mm -hmm. I asked Steinhurst. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I mean, a a a animals don't, sp it's not like he's speaking animal. Animal doesn't speak animal. <laughs> yeah, they do. I've seen it. I've seen a TV show before. I've seen Charlotte's Web. I've, s I've seen the wild thorn berries. I know this is when Tim Curry comes out. <laughs> <laughs> you're able to the rest of the thing. You're able to get a general idea of what, you know, Bert wants as it flutters back towards town and flutters back and flutters back and forth, almost trying to draw you. Every now and then Fair swooping right. down just like pull on your shirt a little bit. Okay, I uh I go with Bert. I follow him. All right. Uh, with new information, I am gonna ask Spadar and Ilke, when was the last time you were home? It's probably been, god, well over a year at this point. We've well, been very busy. Father was very busy. That's, uh, that's a way of putting it. Did you, did any of you keep tabs on the goings on here at all? Well, father did write back home, see that someone at least checked up on the estate. However, he did stop receiving replies a couple of months ago. Yeah, that, uh, that explains things to say the least. Was there anything abnormal in the reports? Other than, well, you know, the unnatural cold and the impending doom of the marching army of Black Everfrost. That did seem to consume quite a bit of what they were writing about. I mean, can you imagine anything else worrying about something as mundane as cooking recipes or what the harvest is going to be in two years' time when there's an impending apocalypse on your doorstep. I mean, fair point. Unless we... Uh, roll an insight okay. check. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good today. 22. You can, you get the feeling uh, that Badar is mostly telling the truth, but he pauses as he sort of looks over, like, the desk and the room, um, as if he's leaving something out, but uh, he does not pursue it. Okay. Um, oh, okay, well, I, I'll just be straightforward. Um, I know that you are keeping something to yourself, but that's to be expected, considering I left without warning, and when I came back, the worst possible outcome, I would say, happened. Um, so, I, I would say fairly, you don't really owe me particular answers 
as of right now. Bedar just kind of... <laughs> what yeah, I, I an understatement. Alright, I'll just awkwardly walk off. What's everybody else doing in the house? Curious. Is anyone rummaging through stuff? I... I'm going through every single drawer. I oh, yeah. deliberately go to you, Tommy, and... Okay. Aruna, I need you to send to Gen, I think. Um, something feels off here. Uh huh. And I don't. I don't want us to be caught disrobed. Yeah. Ooh. That makes sense. Um. And I'm gonna. Other than that, I'll. Cool, I'm cool, just cool. gonna like sit and try and evaluate the map, Colin, and try and figure out if there's anything up here of note that they might come come would have come to try and get, okay, or something like that, and try and figure out maybe how long um, it would have taken them from our previous known uh, front line to about here. Okay. Um. I, I will do that in a moment, but since we're kind of, like, trying to gather stuff for dinner, this is yeah. a, another dad factoid that I think about is we probably have a wine cellar, but I don't imagine he actually drank very much of it. He just probably has fancy imported wine because he's an asshole and wants to have it to have it. So I guess I'd point Ito there. in that direction since that's kind of like his wheelhouse so he can get us some good vintage or some shit. I don't know. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. Um, I'll 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 put eyes on the wine cellar. Yeah. Being the wine cellar. Yeah, that's probably. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll beep 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 uh, again, and I'll be like, "Hey, back home in the cult world, something is off. Does this area have strategic importance?" And is the war stuff going okay? How's the war, buddy? How's yep. the war, buddy? <laughs> More or less, that's what I'll ask. You should probably check it on Burnesh, too. Yeah, it's Soul Sanctus. I mean, Soul Sanctus got Soul Sanctus dragon is gone fucking, as fuck. Soul Sanctus is gone as fuck. He got, he, you know he was like, ha, bye. Yeah, it's... Peace, bitches. Uh... Your problem now. Again... <laughs> Uh, merely says it is ever impossible to stop winter's march only slow it Ooh. I'll take him not telling me anything else means there's nothing of strategic importance up here probably or anything probably weird. not i figured not in regards to that at least yeah entirely fair okay cool. well, it's good to oh. eliminate that yeah well oh yeah the shadow thing were the shadows going after uh bert at all or was it only henley you pro probably after Bert, just out in the woods movement. Hmm. Hey, okay. Next time we all kind of get together, I'll say we probably shouldn't wander alone in the woods. All right. Someone was. Someone said they were going through drawers. Yeah. Rifling through, through shit. Through drawers and getting wine. He can rummage through whatever. All right. Uh. I'll be right back. Ito, make a perception check for me. Okay. Uh, your gay eyes okay. see. It's weird. The top key or the the shortcuts at the top aren't there. That's weird. Perception, you said. Give me a perception check. All right. Twenty. Thirty. Atlas's wine storage is quite 
adequate, although, uh, you know, not as extensive as yours, obviously. Uh, here, uh, in the wine area, there are a, actually a couple bottles that have frozen, uh, where even the wine in it has turned into a slush. Hell yeah. Jesus. But you are able to pick up out a couple like, of... Like, I'm sorry. It's been exposed to the elements and has turned into a slush? It's so... It's he... been so, so cold. cold. Alright. Like, it is... I said, Any white? It, I mean... Any white wines? I mean, you're standing right there, Jesus. But yes... Mm. Yeah. There are uh, various different ones. Maybe a rosé somewhere around there, you know. But obviously, if they're going fishing, you want the white. But yeah. No, nah, if there's slush, I'm making fucking mimosas. Ah, uh, there's there. Let's go. We are getting white girl wasted up in this bitch. Karakwa politely asks for a white claw. You would. Oh no! Oh my God. <laughs> there, I'm gonna I'm gonna send a message to Burnesh. Be like, "What up?" There are no laws when you are slinging claws. That being said, your searches also reveal something else a bit more unexpected. Rifling through the drawers of the desk of Atlas, you find uh, there is a compartment a false bottom to one of the drawers uh, mm. that you're able to uh, tip up and pull it out uh, revealing what appears to be a small book this book is co uh, covered in what appears to be like dark midnight blue leather and it has basically circles that are stamped all around the cover that appear to be the faces of the moon. There are uh, eight circles that are stamped on it. Uh, Amazing. Am I able to find this book without touching it? Like, do did yeah, I, yeah. Have yeah, I yeah. touched it? Okay. Uh, without touching it, I'm going to go and find Aruna and bring them to the book. Hell yeah, Aruna. Because I may have low wisdom, but I've lived this long. <laughs> That's... Is this the book, Colin? This is it not it's wine the book. Cellar? What a fucking oak! Okay. It wasn't in the book. It wasn't. It, and also, you it said uh, uh, you found it rifling through his desk, too. I I just gave yeah, you a yeah. search for rifling through everything in the house, basically. Sure, 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 sure. This is not the book, though. This is not the spell book that you uh, hurt Ooh. yourself with. That's. This is a book hey, you've watch. never seen. Hey, watch this. Check this fucking shit out. For Chow, detect magic. I just want to see if it's going to blow up. <laughs> there is indeed a magic on it, but you sense illusion magic. Interesting. Alright. Is it just, uh, is it, does it have a lock on it, or is it just like wrapped tone? Nope. Deal? No locks, right. no bat, not in a bag. It's just a book that was hidden in the bottom of a drawer. I'll pop that shit open. All right, uh, you immediately see the pages are blank. Well, the best. Doubt. Oh, we probably haven't had like a restaurant have we? I mean, you could have. There's no reason you could have taken a day to. Well, where are we gonna? Do we just leave Dad outside? Well, it's fucking yeah, cold. He's not gonna fucking rot. <laughs> I know, but like that feels weird. Chuck him into the sea. Then bury him and worry about the shit later. That's true. I like that how you're showing more respect to your father's body dead than when he was alive. What's the oh, okay. What's the plan to bury him? The fucking ground is frozen solid. That's true. Magic. Move I'll more. Melt the ice. Yeah, yeah she bit. just use mold earth. You you mold the earth, it just leaves ice behind. Like shit, it doesn't That's work probably, on the water. It's probably extremely overkill, but I'll do dispel magic at seventh level, just to make sure. 
immediately the illusory magic that was obfuscating the pages to seem blank disappears as uh, it reveals the flowing scrawled hand of not only your father but it appears to be other people as well um, you don't recognize them those writings but you do recognize your father's handwriting in it um, you can see that as you flip to the first page, uh, it holds much like the front of the book, has the eight faces of the moon. This is similar, been, been uh, like inlaid on the front page, uh, and it says the uh, binding of the umbral beast. That's a point. Uh, as Amal once uh, said, Nani the fuck? That's so, that's, that's, is the I forgot about Nani have the have anything fuck. to do with Uller? That sounds like Uller stuff. I don't know yet. Um. Or I guess I'm not there. I'm fishing. Does that make... Does that ring any bells? Uh, I'm not there. So, yeah, I don't know. So I don't know if I can answer that. Uh, I'll bring it. Don't worry, I'll bring it to your attention later. I'm just curious if I know anything. <laughs> You roll a history check. Oh my god, okay. I'm like moderately a. It does not, not ring good. any ba bells, unfortunately. Interesting. Okay. It's a book oh. that you've, you've never seen, your father never spoke of with you. Uh. Binding of the Umbral Beast? Yes. Specifically? Ito! Mm -hmm. Assuming he's still there with me. Umbral Beast. Ring any bells? Uh, I actually do. Connor thinks that rings a bell. I swear that's not the first time we've heard that. Yeah, Connor, that is quick. that a history? Or religion? Nature? Uh, it could be... You could, you could say nature. Uh, you can make a nature check. You can make a history check. History is higher, so I'll do. Twenty-three. Uh it is not something you've remember coming across, really. Uh this, is, or at least not the specifics of uh, the umbral beast uh, in regards to like an actual beast or anything. That doesn't really mean that much to you um but you do know uh umbral has been used uh in it, to to speak about shadow and things like that oh that's not good oh i'm gonna send a message to henley and i will ask him if that rings any bells for him i mean i guess I mean, I don't, I don't that Hanley knows of. Do I just roll call and see if I know what that is? You can roll a history check. Alright. Uh, you can even have advantage on it, because uh, technically Ito's helping. Alright, well, let me roll it again, because that one was a 7. That seems good enough. An 8? Yeah, that's, that's good enough. <laughs> Un oh, yeah, no. Unknown to about you. Jack, bro. But it also doesn't make you think of Olar, either. <laughs> I have no clue, man. Okay. Maybe, just maybe, we should take care of burial rites and leave as soon as we can. I'll be a, if I may all. be perfectly honest, Aruna. Yep. I, uh... I'd be much more inclined to lay Atlas to rest I'm back. in a place that has no association with his existence than I would lay him to rest here. I don't get the impression that his children are going to want that. I don't care about his children. I care about him. Well, the way I see it 
it doesn't matter too much to me. But if we miss step, Badar and Ilkay are going to end up like him. And while we don't agree with it, they idolize him to some degree. So I think, you know, dis uh, is despoiling is not the correct word. Displacing his body from our home is probably not the correct choice currently. I also Unless you're worried probably... about something much fouler happening. I think we're probably better off with your siblings on our side than on anybody else's right now. Yeah. You can't as have reluctant sibling, as that may be. You can't yeah. have a sibling rivalry and you know sibling arguments if you're all fucking dead. It's, it's true. We now, should just burn the house down with us in it. I will say, Runa, you could you could still peruse through the book. Okay. Um. If you, but it'll probably take uh, like a night because it's quite dense. Even though it's a small book, the writing is quite dense. I think, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with eating food. People can do sending, whatever they need to do. We'll rest either before dawn or slightly after. We'll take care of dad, and then we're going to try to leave as soon as possible. Because I I don't want anyone to misunderstand this, but something not good is happening. And I'd prefer not to be sticking around much longer than we need to. How's fish going, guys? I'll tell you. Ice fishing with Klaus and... You're Klaus ice Klaus fishing! <laughs> the last time we did ice fish, we got, like, some super crazy awesome item. You're dangling your... Uh, you dangle your worm down into the yeah. ice. Oh, shit. Yeah. You stick the pecker straight down in the you. ice. Is it, oh, is it don't want to bite that. It, tastes, it probably tastes rotten at this point. Don't do like it. Like aged jerky. Look, you can't do well, it. I was, talk, I was talking about uh, Vendas, not yours. Look, he, he, he's, already, he's already in Florida dangling his worm in the ocean, you know? <laughs> Seeing what fish and come to bite. Yet. Any bites yet? Watch, watch out, well, you might get kicked out the state. <laughs> Mike, a hate crime. All like right. Lady in San Diego who got shot over a flag. Let me, uh. So we are in the Arctic. Yeah, it's a D100, isn't it? It is a D100. Let me. Oh, you've already fished in the Arctic hey. before. Okay. Uh, and it's not a large body of water. So, uh, give me a. Roll a D100. Well, sorry, my girlfriend was talking to me. What am I rolling? Survival? No, I. Uh, it was just a D100 to see what he's fishing up. Oh, okay. Oof. I mean, would would he get a D100 too? Just to see what he gets. Sure. I got a 78. Right. I don't know if that's any better. I mean, higher is better for these oh. rolls. Oh, okay. Yay. All right. You feel a tug on the line as uh, it begins yeah. yanking furiously. Uh, there is a powerful pull as immediately the lines begin uh, pulling out. Go ahead and give me... A, an athletics check, Klaus, because you're the one on the line. All right. Oh my fucking god. Here we go. Athletics, that'd be a d20 plus one. <laughs> for, for some reason, uh, Foundry's not working for me. 24. All right. Man, hey, it's 20. Bruce. Bruce makes a comeback for the fishing rolls. All right. Uh, he comes back carrying the shark. You are able to begin reeling it in despite the tremendous efforts. Uh, this, uh, I don't know if you remember the uh, 
fishing rules, but there's a slip the, li uh, slip the line, there's a fight, so you have to get an amount of successes equal to the fight before you get a number of total rolls of slipped lines. In this case, you have to get two successes, thus beating its okay. athletics check twice out of five, because it has five slipped lines. So you've got one. All right. Uh, give me a, another athletics check. Oof. That's no bueno. Unfortunately, you fail this one, as that you are now at one success out of two. Give me another athletics check. Thirteen. Uh, that is one success out of three. Give me another athletics check, because it's five for this particular fish. Ten. Oof. Alright, you, you got one more chance before it hits its slip the line. It's a fucking fish. I will... Hey! It's got a roll. Nope! Ooh, that was close! On the last opportunity for it to slip the lines, you pull out a massive six foot long scale back sturgeon. Hell yeah. Hell that'll, yeah. That'll, that'll cook up nice. That's gonna be good. Uh, this sturgeon got three too. not only will provide a plenty of fish to go around, uh, the scales of a scale back sturgeon have been used to make scale armor. Oh my god, it was armor. the sturgeon I needed for that armor that I, in the town that I was going to get that I couldn't get, the, that didn't end up getting the fish for. I could at legit go back and get that. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, uh awesome. it is indeed used, uh, scale back sturgeon scales are indeed used for non-metallic scale males. So they can't be heat metaled and things like that. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm, I, I, I have, I have to go do it. I mean, that town's fucking yeah, deserted I mean, by now, so. Oh, <laughs> no. They're, they're probably deep. all dead. That town was, is Maybe behind the front again. lines now, so. Maybe we'll find him again. But, uh, yeah, indeed, uh, it was the same type of fish as Scaleback Sturgeon. But, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, you do get it, and it's gonna be plenty of food. You drag that bad boy, you have to, you actually have to hack away at the ice some more just to get the bat, the freaking thing out. But, you successfully, at the end, on the last success, uh, the last roll, get a success and yank that bad boy out, pulling it onto the ice. Hell yeah, let's go eat. We got dinner. Like the two, it takes the two of you to drag that back. All right. Come on, you happy bitch. The successful fishermen return. Yay! Yay! Hey, I got dinner. All right. Everyone's AFK. Okay. I'm not gonna make tacos. Good. I'm eating lasagna. Wait, I thought you said you're making tacos and you're eating lasagna? No, I'm, I'm making I'm lasagna tacos. Yo, spaghetti tacos. Hell yeah. I remember an episode of Reading Rainbow where LeVar Burton was talking about special ways to order food in a diner and he accidentally ordered a spaghetti sandwich. What? Was Damn. it good looking? I would really eat amazing. a spaghetti sandwich. Spaghetti yeah. tacos from uh, iCarly apparently are all right. It, but yeah, it's just the same thing. It's just tortilla. And yeah, but when he ordered it, he's like he like he it came out. He's like, oh, I wasn't expecting this because obviously it's a joke. Well, he fucking order accidentally ordered spaghetti sandwich. But then he's like, but I'm going to eat it, and then it goes da da da. I remember it. Amazing. I remember. I remember. On a scale of 1 to 10, how awkward is this dinner going to be, guys? Very. Very. Hell yeah. Indeed. It is awkward, because I don't think anybody's... Or is anybody else planning to do anything? Is Karakwa doing anything? Redoing anything oh, in particular? I hope you like long, awkward silences. Uh, 
I mean, I didn't really have anything planned, so... Yeah, you get to lay my dad to rest, Mr. Barrier Rights, man. Good luck. Okay. Reed stands there. If there is a hell, he's probably <laughs> there. <laughs> and then he says, I guess there is, because I have been there. But... Can, can guarantee he's in a hell. Yeah, he's had a rough one. All right. Uh, you, they, they arrive back. Everybody gets back. Uh, uh, like I said, I believe you were planning to cook old Venta True Cloud. Uh huh. I was gonna cook something. I guess we lived on an island on the in the Royhan, so I'll just do like a fish thing. That I would yeah, you'd probably be well <laughs> acquainted with thing. cooking fish. Uh, all right. You keep things pretty simple. Uh, no. Uh, it cooks it in a and a wine sauce goes, why doesn't this taste like vinegar? Yeah, all, all the all the wine on the island always tastes like vinegar. This just tastes weird. You keep it pretty simple. Uh, obviously, there's not a lot of been a lot of activity around the house for you no know, years, so they are a little bit, uh, you know, their their supplies on spices, herbs, and things like that are uh, not not great. Obviously, right? Understandable. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you you, you kind of have to keep it simple. Um, you slice them up into like full, pretty sizable fillets. Uh, sear them over the fire. Uh, sprinkle some uh, various spices you carried with you: salt, and black pepper. Uh, use a little bit of the the white wine, white wine, white wine, uh, maybe to, to cook it in. But you get something uh, adequate. Um, you're able to serve it. It's certainly not fancy. Uh, you're not able to uh, supplement it with like fresh vegetables or anything. There's not any to be had around here. Uh, even foraging for vegetables just didn't turn up anything. <laughs> turn up? Turn up anything. Uh, <laughs> the potato, unfortunately, the potato fields were all dug this. up and used to make vodka, so. It's, oh, never mind. And dinner is indeed an awkward affair. You can see, even though you're grouped pretty close together, or there's many people around this long table that is in a rather small dining room, uh, Ilke and Badar seem to be walled off in their own way, sitting next to each other. Uh, they... Uh, huddle at the far corner of one table as best as they can, separating themselves as best as they can from the group. Yeah. Every now and then they glance at the head of the table uh, to where their father used to sit, almost expecting him to be there, and always perhaps disappointed that he's not. The wine froze, flows freely, however. Drink up, yeah. boys. I'm, I'm getting white girl wasted and reading the book. Yep. Another, like, exciting. silent family gatherings and getting plastered. Yeah. Ilke and Badar also partake of the wine quite happily. Um, with the two of them downing, uh, uh, like, goblets full. Hell yeah. Drowning their sorrows. Well, in the grape. The grape vine. It's after about... Beyond. God. We'll say a half dozen glasses of wine. Mm -hmm. That things start to get a little bit more heated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As every now and then... While... Ilke remains quite silent and stoic, um, even though you can see she seems to to prickle at the very thought of the people that killed her father sitting at the table. Uh, Badar is the one, ever the one, to be a little bit more vocal about it. As uh, now six goblets deep in wine, his words slightly slurred. His eyes sort of focus on you, Aruna. And he uh -huh. sort of says, You know, it didn't happen if you didn't... It didn't have to happen if you hadn't left. Oh. Oh. 
right on the all... fucking. Right I look at chin. him, and I tell him it probably would have also not happened had you just listened to your sister in the first place. Yikes. You. Uh, yeah, were... I'm, say, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let him. You were always yeah, father's favorite. The chosen one. The one that he put all his hopes and dreams on, even though you didn't even really work for it. Not like we did. Ever the apple of father's eye, and yet that wasn't good enough for you, was it, Aruna? God damn. Ah, uh, you know, I think just gotta, we're gonna, we're gonna let him go. Let him do his thing. First in line and first out the door, right? And you know what? You know what? Did you think after you left he wouldn't he wouldn't pursue his dreams? That he would do would just say, Oh the favorite daughter's gone. Might as well give up on elevating the family. No. No. You know why Sarune got stuck with the gloom sacrament? It's because you left. And you put those expectations on her. I am well aware of that. And when I left, it was entirely selfish. And that's the truth. I didn't really think of three of you like I should have. And for what it's worth, I'm sorry. Are you thinking of the three of us when you killed Dad? You might not believe it, but yes. Because he certainly wasn't thinking about us. He thought about us every damn day of his life. Not just us. Of the family. Of legacy. Of impacting this world. Not just this world. But the next... You seem to look at your father through rose-tinted glasses, friend. If by legacy you mean a bunch of battered and broken children, then he's done a damn fine job of that. You broke yourself. You're too afraid to be vulnerable or broken in the first place. It takes a little liquid courage for you to even speak up. Uh, <laughs> roll a persuasion check. Okay. I'm good at those. I'm not. Ooh, that's pretty good. Hey, you're, the, you're this one. Hey, 19. Or 21 total. Pretty good for me. <laughs> he angrily stands up, sort of clutching the table, his brow furrowed as... He just looks at you, and he says, You should have died when you opened that book. Well, if it makes you feel better for me to die, is that what you want? Because even though Dad's dead, I don't feel any better. He merely shakes his head. And walks away. Oh, I was going to toss the signet ring at him next. Little bitch. Nice and awkward. Lovely. Yeah, well, maybe you could give it to him. I mean, What's... That's you, there's going to the be point. some oh. olive branch. Well, yeah, there's got to be some olive branch at some point. Just let him be angry right now. Yeah, that's kind of the plan. What's LK doing? Or, yeah, what's LK doing? She looks up at you and she says in a somewhat stoic voice maybe he's right Ooh, that's fair gotta let them do their thing that's fine All right, 
not not every day there's a fratricide dinner party. So he, you see, as Ilkay's tur uh, walking at the door, and Badar is, you know, Badar sort of turns around his words slightly s slurred. He was a great man, a powerful wizard. As uh, Ilkay like grabs him and starts dragging him away, sort of oh, drags God. him out the room. Dislike, dislike. Gotta love wizards, huh? Yeah, that um, that went about as well as expected. It was um, fated to pass. Yeah. What is what is fated to happen with your siblings will happen. They think they can change it, but really, they're just delaying in a, the inevitable. Agreed. Plus, your your father serving a grander purpose. Yeah. I am going to retire. I am going to look at this book we found. Uh, perhaps make sure a drunken Badar doesn't cast any spells inside of the house in the middle of the night. Or um, Ilke puts her hands around one of your throats. Might want to do, watch do your we have a specific order that we would want people to be keeping a watch in? I think that'd be safer, yeah, if we just took turns on watch. Because I, I, I need to sleep, like, almost not at all, but yeah. I need to know when. That's... Uh, I would uh, say... Uh, like, how... ideally, you might want me to sl sleep now, get four hours, and then yeah, stay awake. Is that is the house itself warded there? Yes. And how far out from the home? Uh probably the wards extend. Probably about 50, 60 feet. I it's not it's not like hugely yeah. warded. I will relay that information to you can probably go outside and watch if you want, but stay within a you know a, a, a small jaunt towards the house. That's fair. Um, yeah. You you can uh, you know, keep keep watching any order you want. That's fine. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll let Bert go with whoever is on watch, so he can help or whatever. I'm mostly gonna stick to yeah. figuring out what's going on with that book, I guess. All right. I'll I'll stay on first watch. So, Alakul can sleep. Immediately, yep. Class can do first watch, and then Alec will be up for the yeah, rest. I'll, of them. I'll actually, if that's known early enough, Colin, I'm gonna go to bed pretty early. That's fair. Like I said, you probably you probably had dinner at what six, seven. Yeah, so I, I go to sleep early, and then I right. Then I spend the rest of the time first watch. Who was taking first watch? I believe Klaus. Alec will. All right, you, uh, Klaus, as you wait up, um, the winds, uh, you, you take your first watch, uh, the winds sort of slowly die and the snows uh, uh, turned and sort of slowly dissipate, and you even see uh, clouds begin to clear. Uh, you see a vast, starry uh expanse and you see a uh, just the faintest hint of uh, the new moon uh, just sort of high in the sky uh, roll a nature check for me Klaus technically oh, no. you would have advantage Right. I'll be right back. I need to run to the bathroom. Let me see. Is it the first or second roll? Up. Oh, that's the Redeemer's roll. Yay! Uh, oh my god. Haven't heard from you all day. He's just like, this is as awkward as my family gatherings. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he sort of says, shit, I, rem <laughs> I remember whenever I killed the, the Holy Emperor Stalrike. You remember that? <laughs> I mean, hey, that means, uh, 
that that means Henley gets to be uh, married to the Holy Emperor, the new Holy Emperor of Stalright. So I kind of like, I kind of like put that thing together. Wait, who said that? It's just. Wait, I'm are, just you, joking. are you saying that the the fucking Redeemer spirit is fucking I, the I'm, wingman? I, I I'm just joking, like, but yeah, kind of. It's, oh. it's a pretty good practical joke, Al. But everyone got that one. He's sort of, uh, you can see slowly looking at the new moon, the faintest hints of light begin to pour around it as the Redeemer says, that, that that's not right. That ain't a new moon, that's an eclipse. What? Oh. Shit. Wait, oh, oh. Is, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna relay this to to Runa. I was like, um, we've got an eclipse on our hands. Is that uh, anything we're expecting? Hold hold the fuck. That's up. not. I mean, I wouldn't ex. It shouldn't be. I mean, there shouldn't be an eclipse. Not not now. Not this time of year. Things aren't right. I mean, we can track these things pretty well. And I know time's a little bit odd right yeah. now, but there wasn't supposed to be one in the winter, at least not here. Well, shit. That's... Is it... Do we know of anything that could uh, be causing this? Is this the, um... The White Tide Monday, you think? I mean... If there was something that had the power to do it, it'd be her, but... Here? Why waste the time? We're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So is Alakul up too? Uh, this is the happening in first watch. So, because it was nighttime. So, cool. Well, I'm awake. I, if I'm I not roll, awake, um... I would be awake part way through the first shift for my long rest. Uh, it's uh, it's. Can I roll right. a religion check or something? Yeah. See what it's doing. Okay. It's advantage on this because this is also a redeemer trade skill. Hang on, let me let me throw my D10 on. Yeah. All right, so a 14. Hey. You don't know. That's a two and a one. Neither God, of damn. neither of you are familiar with this. Um, Paraka requires a full rest, right? I'm gonna be honest. Ready? You guys could wake me up and I'll be okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm, like a full rest. I'm I gonna wake you up. But I was just asking, is Karako a full rest character? Yeah. yeah. I didn't really spend anything. You guys yeah. probably wake me up too. Same. Uh, but I say, I'm. Yeah. I don't really spend much. It, does anybody want to weigh in on this? Because I'm. Spooky magic shit, kind of my forte, and I'm drawing if, a blank. If I, if I do it, I would hope that I have something, that I would have some knowledge of it because of the Star Druid stuff. Yeah, I figure Star Druid stuff, you have, you know, Tapestry of Fate bullshit. And nature -y stuff would all kind of go hand in hand. That's fair enough. We've all got Olor, don't we? I mean, since that I'm sitting... Something. I mean, since Ol I was sitting there... In okay. a way, Olor's not, like, quite on your side like that. No, I think he meant Olor like, oh, I mean, as a problem. Uh, that yeah. is possible, but... Eh. It doesn't fit his M.O. Can I take, like, a hasty peruse through the book as I'm waking Alakul up to see if there's anything about... Roll an Unicorps? investigation check. Or an Arcana check would probably work. Both are the same. 22. You quickly begin, uh, like, looking through the book, looking for anything like this, uh, sort of, what the hell's going on? What is this? And you do find, all the way back close to the beginning of the book mentions of 
binding and trapping a shadowy figment of basically the moon. Okay. The dark side of the moon. An umbral shadow. Looking through the book, there are mentions, especially amongst your father's notes, of things that he finds curious and speculates on. Things as to why you and your clan and your little village are, as far as he can tell, the only moon elves that exist on the material plane. Hey, well, shit. Okay. And speculations. Uh, moving back. The strange spear-like uh, protuberances. These trees that were carved into almost like idols of some sort that rise to certain heights to meet certain uh, moons at the parts of the year. Uh, and it talks of rituals. Rituals that bind and placate an umbral beast. And now there are no moon elves to do that. Yep. Okay. Great. Um, we're going to De we're going to DefCon. Uh, time to start going and knocking on some doors. Uh, first person I will actually go to is wherever Bedard is fucking sleeping. All right. I I also neglected to remember, uh, Colin, that on anything that I have proficiency in, so investigation and religion included, reliable talent, so I could not get below a seventeen on those. That's that's fine. Busted. Anyway, I'm yeah. getting Bedar. This is important. Bedar. I don't care how long uh, over he is. I need him. I. Uh, Whenever you knock on the door, the door is opened by Ilke, who sort of glares at you as she says, what? Uh, I will hold up the book. Um, tap, tap, tap. So, She just sort our... of shakes her head, I don't know what that is. Well, long story short, in neglect of our duties, as moon elves apparently, um, something's, I don't know, waking up or breaking free. I need Badar. He's the magic caster. And if anyone's going to know anything more, it might be him. I need Sorry. Badar. Badar. Me. She just sort of says, fine. She walks over to the crumpled heap of uh, sort of Badar. He's curled up like in the fetal position on a, uh, in, a, in a bed. Um, you can see he is got, like, the sheets clutched to his, his face. It looks like he might have been crying a little bit. Yeah. Mm. I mean, oh, his, da no. his dad died, so. Yeah. Oh, Papa. Oh, Papa. Not Papa. Okay. And he's All also right, drunk. Yeah, I'll crash down beside him. <laughs> Listen. Why, yeah. you come to kill me too, so you can send me to fucking hell with dad? Just do it. You just... That's, that's just so fucking pitiful. It's unbelievable. Anyway. I know that you and father were very close. Especially when it comes to, you know, magical capabilities. So forth and so on. And I'll hold the book open and try to get him to focus on it. Does this look familiar? Is this anything that he's ever talked about? Do you remember rituals we do in the village when we lived here? He sort of anything. He roll a persuasion check with advantage for me. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. Fourteen. That's not bad. Not bad for me. He frowns slightly, but while he doesn't seem 
he almost doesn't seem to want to help you. Talking about the magic stuff has piqued his interest. As he sort of looks at the book, and he says, that's not one of Dad's spell books, but he sort of says, it's got the phases of the moon on it. I just, I just nod, like, keep going, keep going. He starts, like, rifling through it, and he says, uh... He almost has a look on his face that, as if he's remembering something, something that seemed inconsequential. But he sort of says, when Dad would talk about like the family, like moving up in the world and going off, and you. Doing spectacular things and Sarune doing spectacular things. He said someone had to stay behind, make things sure that things, everything was in its place. Okay. And he sort of says, he said that. The light of the moon and the moon elves was the only thing that kept the shadows at bay in the cold wood. Oh. I th thought he just meant like, <laughs> you know, we were a bastion of magical prowess in an otherwise destitute land of hunters Farmers and half wits. That, that was not the most eloquent or nice way of putting that. I mean, did you see your good. see some of your friends? I mean, hmm. yeah, no, they're rough around the edges. Um, but he so said are we. he sort of motions to ones that like points at some of the writing says. I, this is, this is our ancestors writing. This is, he sort of po uh, motions towards the name. This is our like great, great granddad. Where'd you find this? Well, I didn't see this, this in his bookcases. The false bottom in the desk. That's not where you're supposed to keep books. Yeah, you are. As is it usual, is this like just a book right. or is it like a giant tome? No, it's a I'm small. Sorry. It's a small book. It's, just, it's like a little black book. Okay. It's like a diary. Okay. Uh, so, it, it itself doesn't have any spells or anything like that. It's like a, literally a diary of keeping track of these rituals. Cool. Um, I'll turn to Ilke. Um, so bad feelings aside. And everything that has happened, we understand that something is very amiss, and we have two options, right? We either leave, and we let whatever happens happen, or we are going to have to, albeit temporarily, work together to figure out what exactly is going on and take care of the problem, correct? That seems like a fair assessment of our situation. Great. Um, do you know any way of getting Badar right as rain as fast as possible? I... She sort of says, uh... She almost kind of smiles and she says well you and Badar and father had your books I had my own outings you spent your nights in quiet contemplation of spells I spent more than one night at the bottom of a wine cask amazing same, same. 
fucking nice. I can figure... I can cobble something together that will... It might not make him perfect, but it'll get his wits about him. Yeah, get his um, ass in working order, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go get everyone else and kind of figure out what we're doing. Uh, as you sort of walk out the door, so and Badar sort of sits up, he sort of sways for us, and he says, Aruna, this is... Yeah. This is our family's legacy. I said that already. Yeah, but in a much, this is much nicer context. True, 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 true. Uh, I'll say yes, I suppose it is. And I'll actually take the signet ring out and I'll kind of like toss it to him. I know he's a drunk mess, so he probably won't catch it, but I'll it, give him the signet ring now. It hits him right in the face. <laughs> Anyway, ah, he gets, he gets he gets the point. He'll figure it out later. All right, ding ding ding. Uh, pots and pans. Everyone, wake the fuck up! Yay, crisis mode! Yay, crisis mode! We can't have a moment of fucking peace. There are no moments of fucking peace. That's You're true. level nineteen adventurers. That's true. Anyways, everybody up. Get this woman, kill your dad and send him straight to hell. That's true. Is any anyways, everybody up? Up, up, up. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I yeah, can sure. be, yeah. Great. Um so not not to alarm everyone. Um <clears throat> long story short, duties have been neglected. Moon elves have not been around. Uh apparently we we're meant to keep something at bay. I can't quite tell you what that is. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Something shadowy and evil. Um, and as you can tell, there are no moon elves around. So that would make it very hard to keep it in check. Uh, Aren't so you a moon really... elf? Huh? Aren't you a moon elf? Yes, but... Yeah, so is so between... is Badar. Yeah, there's a difference between multiple groups of moon elves casting ritual... Anyway, beside the point. We have two options. Either we run away and leave this problem for another time, or we can put our collective heads together and figure out what we're supposed to do about that. Uh, and I'm going to point out the window towards the eclipse. It's a moon. Yeah, it's in a, an eclipsed moon. Henley's like, seen that before. Yeah, they, have moon, they have moons where he's from. Yeah, I... I yep. Alright, what do you mean to do, Aruna? I don't know. That's the problem. Does it specifically dictate what we're supposed to do in the book? Or is it just speculation? You... As best as you can guess, from your limited, the limited time of perusal that you had, is you don't fucking know. Okay, great. I have to see the book. Alright, have at it. At any, uh, yeah, I'll let him see it. I look at it. I flip through some pages for like a few minutes. I hand it back up. I don't know. Actually, I'd like to go towards the. Where's the library where you got this book from? Maybe there's something else in there. No, I mean office slash library. Uh, a point in that direction. Uh, it's, a good, yeah. it's a good. It's a good place to start. And I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna try and find literally anything that sounds or looks remotely relevant and parse through. The uh, that's fair. You are able to, uh, uh, give me a... Is there anything you're, in particular, you're looking for? Are you just trying to find something useful? Uh, maybe, like, occult stuff? Or, like, otherworldly beings? Okay. Give me... An... Arcana check. Right. You have advantage on this because uh, it's a redeemer skill. What time is it? At this point, it's probably about eleven o'clock. Okay. Yeah, we didn't uh, exactly. And I also do get uh, news. I also get a minimum. Uh, okay, so I got a seventeen on that on my roll. Okay. You sort of peruse the books and find that there is uh, what appears to be 
uh, a couple of spell books on the, the shelf, mostly lower level discarded spell books used by Badar and uh, by Atlas, but particulars on this, not really. Hmm. Are are we in a building right now? Or? You're in. You're in. The yeah, house. we're in the state. <laughs> no, no. I just I wanted. I know this is like related to the moon stuff. I I would like to go and sit outside if it's eleven o'clock. All right. The moon is. I'll, I'll, I'll stay nearby, but like. The moon is right rising back. to an apex, and even though uh, it's been a little while since it was first observed that it's a lunar eclipse. The shadow itself does not appear to be leaving the moon. Uh, there is no, like I said, there's no passing of it. It remains resolutely centered on the great orb that hangs high in the sky, slowly raising to an apex above the cold wood. Okay. Is there, are there clouds in the sky tonight? Uh, very few, uh, but largely the, the storm clouds moved out earlier in the night. Uh, the snow, there's uh, some clouds that do pass through, but uh, you are obviously able to see the moon. I think I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll sit out here. I just kind of want to like, I'll, I'll strum my instrument. And just keep an, keep, not like keep an eye on it. I'm not standing guard over the moon, but I just... I want to see if I notice anything unnatural. As you strum the instrument, the first thing you notice is how it seems to echo and bounce off the trees. As you realize uh, it hits you, there is silence all around you. Even from the building I'm next to? I... pretty much. Okay. It's just it's just an unusual silence. You can hear people like a, inside. Like a like it's, a coincidental silence. It like just, I just had a moment. Okay. It, it strikes you. You don't hear the wind. You hear no nighttime howls of the wolves or the animals that would usually be through uh, moving through here. You don't hear anything. Even the notes that come out of you seem uh, like out of your muted. instrument seem dulled they seem muted it seems wrong um, can i can i i don't think this is going to do anything but can i can i cast true seeing on myself yeah you, you're casting true sight yeah, a true sight of myself. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me. We we've rested, right? I th I believe that was discussed since since the fight. Yeah, like I said I have no problem if you wanted to to rest. If people were had decided to rest, the the, the time doesn't really matter. Sure. Uh, between the fights. Yeah, I would like to cast true sight on myself and see if anything ap appears different. I know that doesn't affect hearing, but. Uh, and uh, if it matters, it's a range of 120 feet. Okay. Uh, roll a... Fun. Roll a wisdom saving throw against fear. Oh, boy. Oh, goody. You know, we've popped enough Do Madman's I... insight from Bloodborne to see the fucking horrors beyond the veil. Don't I have something against fear? I thought I was immune to fear. I don't know. Are you? I can't remember. That's why I specifically said against fear. Yeah, one If it's a dragon time. and you're within 30 feet of Venta, you have advantage. No, I thought I had a paladin thing. Hold on. Uh, I'll get back to me in a sec. Should be on your defenses, right? On your uh, D and D Beyond sheet. Features and traits. I Look think. at the features, yeah. I have it under on D and D Beyond under my um saves. There's also Does defenses. It It'll let you know if you have a resistance or immunity to anything like that. Yeah. Oh, 
me see. Let's open the actual D and D Beyond the Sheet instead of Foundry. No, I don't have that. Okay. Um, uh, what saving throw? Make a wisdom saving throw against fear. Okay, sorry. Oh, no. Oh, Oof. boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Very cool. Mm. Very cool. That'd Such cool. I'm not just afraid, you're terrified. So... From every, as your eyes and your vision passes into one of true seeing, you look around a dull landscape and you see uh, little of note, save looking up to the very moon itself, as you see not what appears to be just a lunar eclipse, you see two glowing yellow eyes that seem to have flames almost pouring out of them a bright white and yellow and tendrils almost like hair that sort of spews out to basically clot sort of blot out the stars themselves um as you are immediately struck with the size and gravity of this thing and it almost had there's almost a crushing fear that passes through you uh, as you suffer on 67 points of damage you, you said it's just a pair of eyes are they do they, they're, are they featureless like they're, are they just they look the like shape of eyes Two flaming eyes that are literally in the eclipse of the moon. It's a okay. fucking watcher. Uh, oh shit, you take 69 points of psychic damage. Nice. Can I... Uh, real real nice. quick, you said this is this is an eclipse. Am, mm, I don't know how to word this. Am I seeing the eclipse happen, or am I... like, Is this a vision? No, it is literally an eclipse in the sky. That's the thing. It has okay, not, okay. but that's one of the things that's wrong. It's not passing. It's not moving. Usually, you'd see the it's shadow just an passing. Eclipse. It's just you can see the outline the... of the moon. Fuck. Okay. And, and um, normally that would pass. It has not passed. And now with true sight, looking up at it, you can see eyes that are actually burning from it. Hair that's it almost looks like hair that sort of spreads out blotting out the stars and it curls down and you can actually see the hair almost seems to curl down to meet the shadows of the cold wood itself as you realize what the shadows were reaching out towards Henley as he was moving through it it's almost like extensions of this thing okay um I will mark how's that 69 points of psychic damage though you know uh, no I'm at half uh -huh. health uh, am I? Because I know. Am am I? Am I feared? Am I afraid? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't recall what that means specifically. I just can't move towards it, right? Yeah. I can still talk and shit. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I, uh, I move. I move to. You stand up. It's moving towards the moon. That's, that's oh, damn shit. Still. I'll. Uh, but uh, no, it's, oh, it doesn't no. have to be as anything is like that specific. You're just. I just. Terrified. I meant like. Am I able to call out? Yes. I uh, basically. Uh, by failing that saving throw, you have disadvantage on pretty much everything until you can't see the moon. Righteous. Uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll call out, um, hey, like, I've, I've dropped my instrument. Uh, hey, hey, guys. Aruna. Alakul. Karakwa. Headley. Everybody. The works. <laughs> yes, the moon is the moon is bad. 
Yeah. Whoever, yes. whoever wants to help you. What? Yeah, whoever shows up. Uh, I, I saw a figure. Mm -hmm. Like in the in the in the starscape. I'm gonna run out there and I'm gonna join them. The second, no. and then I want to look the up. The second it. someone runs out here, I'm immediately casting True Sight on them. Oh my god! The, the you don't, you don't need ship. to. You don't. You don't. You, you don't need to. I have it. Yep. Yeah. I just have it. I will waste the spell slot for a role play. Okay. Reason. Okay. But if if Aruna shows up, Fair I'm enough. especially casting it on her if she doesn't have it. Oh boy! Thank you yep. so much. Enjoy. I love the Eldritch horror that I'm gazing upon. It's true. All right. Indeed, it is an eldritch horror. Everything you've ever feared in your life seems to crush down upon you. Every impossibility sort of washes over you as you see this thing that feels like it shouldn't exist. It just feels wrong. And its tendrils reach down, seemingly from the very moon itself across the coldwood, spreading its taint across the landscape. Hot. Hell yeah. I mean, sometimes you gotta spread your taint. You Sometimes you gotta air it out, you know? That's just the way it is. Yeah. You gotta, Amazing. You, you gotta, you gotta, air you out. gotta sun your balls. Sometimes you gotta air Take out your tank. Oh, yeah. If you really need to air it out, that's where today's sponsor, Manscaped, comes in. <laughs> Got it. Look, do I owe you a uh, wisdom save? Uh, anyone that can see it, I need a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, Connor's left now. Oh, you're welcome. Cast true seeing on me. That Very being nice. said, everyone yeah. does hey, have I a bonus from like. Uh, it is against fear, and also you're probably standing close enough to Ito to get like get his bonus. Oh, that's like a plus five, right? Yeah, because I imagine like you gather around him. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, I... God, Ito, quit being such a bitch. Just an Eldritch Horror, God. Yeah. We've all seen Eldritch Horrors behind beyond our imaginations. Come on. All right, all right, all right. I'll use my once a game inspiration because I don't want to be a fur no I don't see what the big deal is half things are just like eh he's spooky but I know. got a 20 not natural I mean this thing's no bigger than the rest of you he's like half things like it's spooky but have you ever seen anything as scary as an empty pantry I mean Right, all of us? but it's uh, it's only on people who have true sight. So that's what I'm saying. Connor's not. Like, casting I have all. no clue if he cast it on I, everyone. I said he was casting he it on, cast it on basically me. anyone that was going to walk out. He said he the cast... first one to walk out. He said he would specifically cast it yeah. on me. So I don't know. Because like I don't know how he does not well, have enough spell slots. I don't think to cast it on literally all of us. Yeah. I'm... I'm gonna make an executive decision and say that he probably wants me to see it. So. Oh, it's six dollars. Yeah. Ah! yeah, and I'm 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 going out of my way to tell Ito that like he doesn't need to cast it on me because I just yeah. fucking have it. That's anyway. true. I know it's spookies. It... I know it's spookies. How's the how's the twenty do? It's fine. I... Oh God. Yay. Okay. Uh, it's not a. Ooh, you know what? I got a thought. Super hard. Uh, saving throw, but if you do fail, it does do, it's pretty bad. I've got a thought. I'm gonna unwrap my hand and be like, hey, you wanna see something spooky, buddy? I'm gonna hold the eye and back it towards the, uh, spooky moon monster. That'll work. Uh, see what happens! No response. Oh, it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't know that thing. Like, the fucking- the eye effect on my hand furrows its brow. You hear a voice that laughs, laughs and says, Ha! I was old whenever your gods were young. Aww. Aww. Well? I don't know. A 
<laughs> as you're standing there looking at it, uh, you hear the sort of door open behind you. As you can see, standing in the doorway, uh, Bedar, his face is slightly swollen. Uh, well, one half of his face, where it looks like, uh, you can see it looks like Ilke hit him. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and he's sort of, sort of breathing a bit heavily, cr clutching the book in his hand, trying to shake off the drunkenness as he sort of staggers towards you, Aruna. Uh, Ilke has to, like, support him as he, like, staggers towards you. Um... And he almost like collapses on you, but he sort of waves the book at you as he says, uh, he like opens up the page, he, like almost like puts in your face. You can see he's still a little bit tipsy, but his, his mind is still there as he like almost shoves it in your face. He says, you see it, right? I mean, yes. <laughs> he sort of uh, says, what is, what is it? The ritual. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta do it. So you figured out what it is. Right? Yeah, yeah. Are we... Are we uh, enough to do the ritual, though? He straightens his robes. He says, well, maybe you aren't. But I am. All right. I think he meant number of people. Yeah, He's... is it number of people contingent, or is it spellcaster ability? Is spellcaster ability. All right, so I'm. Gonna, but it's gonna take. I, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna do the the Hound of Ill Omen thing. I'm gonna pull out the Shadow of the Redeemer. I'm gonna pull him out. Maybe he'll maybe he'll be able to. I've been known to something. cast a spell or two myself. Is. Have we established that lay on hands works for drunkenness? Because I mean, it, it is a poison effect. Hey, convenient that our paladin came back. Hey, uh, our our cool paladin, do you want to lay on hands, my brother, so he's like fully detoxicated, so that he can do magic bullshit? I'm gonna walk up to Aruna's brother, whose name just vanished Badar. from my brain. Badar. Badar. I was gonna say Balder. Badar, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to Badar, and I'm gonna put my hand against his forehead. I'm gonna close my eyes, and I'm gonna do absolutely nothing. Yep, nope, he's good. That, yeah, okay. I don't feel. I've any, seen him. I don't on, feel any different. I've seen him lay he lay on hands about a billion times. Yeah, very, <laughs> very mature, very helpful in the situation. He sort of say, he sort of pauses. So, oh my god, is this how I'm gonna feel for the rest of my life? No, he's literally just fucking with you. No, he's, he's fine. This is his natural state of being. Oh yes, I'm sure the, the prank that you're playing is much more important than the fucking eldritch whore in the sky. Oh, yeah, that's true. Descending and going to right, kill fine, all of fine, us. Fine. I will. Yeah, I also <laughs> brought the Ghost of the Redeemer out. Yeah, my, 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 my lay on hands, I think, are less important. I will pump five points. Yeah, that's true. Lou, I think, only has five points. Let him do it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm at 25 yeah. now. Oh, okay. Actually, you have more than me, then. So I will I will dump... Uh, no, no, I have oh. 30, I think. I will I will dump yeah. uh, five points into Bidar. Okay. I was going to say, I'm more paladin than Ito. I only have, like, three... Not not a high bar, friends. Don't yeah, think really, too much like, of yourself. I'm, I'm mostly a bard. I don't know why that keeps getting forgotten. Don't don't yeah. sell yourself short, Reed. Yeah, I, anyway. okay, I'm six levels. He sort of slowly comes to his senses as he 30. sort of shakes his head and he says, "Yeah, okay." Is anybody anybody else drunk? <clears throat> no. I wish. I anyway, he says, end of the hour. Look, right. He rifles through the, uh, the diaries, or that basically it is a diary, a journal, and he sort of, he begins talking pretty quickly. He says, "This is what this is what Dad talked about. This is one of the things he talked about. Uh, this is one of the things he talked about. Why?" Why he wanted 
me to stay behind. Why, it was important that I was a powerful wizard that it did. He sort of. Alright. I know what we need to do. We have if the to... answer is resurrect your father, you can go fuck yourself. No. Oh my god, of course. I'm just making sure that's clear. He sort of says, if we could speak to him, we might be able mm. to, to discern some more details, but I, f I think... I feel like if we were to do that, you need to be the Do you know how much collect cold on Plane of Ash costs? I make sure Badar knows you need to be able to because if and then, one of us is doing I mean I could I could pop down and talk to my boss. Also lie. You might to let him. me borrow him for five minutes. Lie to him and, and say it's like been like that. a thousand years since uh since we killed him. He turns to a rune and he says Father said legacy yes. was the most important thing. The family's legacy, its strength how it presented itself in the world. This is part of it. This has to be part of it. Yes, yes, um, in, in a much more cryptic way than it needed to be, but I, I understand. Do... Colin, I don't know if my true sight has been dismissed as a result of my fear, uh, but, but, um... Did I get the sense that the only... Yeah. Trying to think of how to. I, I'm trying to understand. You know how, like, when you have two of those images and you put them together and it, it produces clarity. Is is that what I'm getting the sense of from the eclipse and the figure that they're? Uh, it's. Can, can I see this figure because of the eclipse? No, you can see the figure okay. because of the true sight. Okay. Okay. The eclipse was already going on. That's it was right. already okay. going on. Okay, sorry. I, I for some reason I thought the 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 eclipse was was hidden for some reason. He okay. rifles through the page. He says, "This thing was held in check by our clans, the only moon elves on this plane, because it was an ancient thing that could spread its f influence and taint across not just the cold wood." across the world if it were able to fucking get out that was part of it i i appreciate that you found purpose and you're having a eureka uh revelation moment but less less history more do <laughs> right so we had a number of clans as backup right yeah yeah so, there are three rituals that have to take place. I see sort of any motions towards several of the trees. Like I said, they've been carved to look like spears that jut out into the sky. Now, these are supposed to be done one at a time throughout the year. It was supposed to be undertaken by the head of our clan. I don't think we have the luxury of doing that right but I like him fucking dumbfounded that he would say that. we <laughs> he sort of looks at you we're the children of Atlas the strongest wizards to ever walk these woods hmm okay, Who okay. cares strongest so far about when it's supposed to be done why don't we just try to do it now? Uh, yeah, all at once? All at once. All three of them. Okay, um... Great. Uh, do we have... God. Fucking LK not being able to cast spells. What's wrong with uh, I, I and, uh... Rock we got... Rid so Venture got has some sorcerer in him. Ma yeah. Max, I'm gonna be honest. I'm imagining it's gonna take a higher level sorcerer, so I don't I don't know how yeah. many levels, but like like seven. Truthfully, yeah. it's gonna it's gonna be one of the people with mostly caster levels. So like I can, but like 
Not yeah, like, even though I can do it, I, I pulled out the Redeemer for this yeah. very purpose. Like, I, it's start... probably beyond me. I want to see if Gen's busy. Like, it depends probably on what is. Ritual. Probably is. Yeah. But what about, uh... Is, there, well, he sort of well, says, there's a, another option. If we could bring <laughs> back Father, just Moon for a moment. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not how I thought this group was gonna go. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go over the rituals first, and we'll do, we'll f go from there. How about that? Don't yeah, worry. You, I'm from here. I'll just do it. You are the man of the hour. You know Henley what's going on. Just direct people levels. where we need to go. Yeah. <laughs> well, why can't I do it? I'm from here. It's true. How's your ability to channel magic? Oh, um, well, I. I Better than anyone he knows. Do you speak the tongue Earthly. arcane? D do I what? You speak in the arcane <laughs> tongue. You know the language of magic. Look, he'll do his best. Uh, no. I think. Can Aruna give me a quick rundown? The alphabet's really simple. It's only three letters. Mecha leka hi, mecha hiney ho. Yeah, mecha leka hi, mecha hiney ho, and then there's mecha jambi ho. Then I, I ask uh, Badar to, to, to teach it to me. <laughs> please. Please just get on with it. As we, as we go here, the fucking Elder Spore is getting closer and closer, and uh, Hanley's closer and the fucking Elder Spore. Just slowly face palms. Looking, hurry, hurry up. Yeah, it, it's looking bored at us. Like, come on. Anyway. I've got other places okay. to be. We've all got other places to be. Alright, Colin, what do I roll for that? An arcana check. All right. Oh no. Can I? A natural one. <laughs> no. Amazing. <laughs> no, you said mega magma, mega bite. Oh, not our best wizard. You have no clue whatever what he's talking about when he starts talking about magic. Please. Anyway, what, can are, we the, just what are the rituals? Focus on rituals. <laughs> uh, all right. He go, goes and he uh, uh, moves to the three of the pillars. Uh, these three sort of spear-like obelisks, wooden obelisks that extend out of the ground into the skies. Um, uh, as he says, this is the pillar of the full moon. This is the... I uh, motions across from it, uh, well, vaguely across from it. It's not like, they're not exactly like perfectly in it, like a triangle or anything, but. Awesome. What? You want me to order Zaxby? <laughs> I'll order, I'll order Zaxby's. We must perform the three rituals of Zaxby's. Yeah, I fuck. Post haste. I love boneless wings and things. All right. Chicken tendies, chicken tendies. There is indeed. Three no, obelisks. One is on place. is the obelisk of the full moon. Uh, one is the obelisk of the new moon, and one is the obelisk of the half moon. It's essentially three. Uh, is the obelisk of the new moon invisible? I mean, I I was gonna I was gonna break it into eight obelisks, but then I was like, I'm not. <laughs> no, ain't nobody got yeah, time. For we're that. not fucking doing eight obelisks for the eight stages of the moon. Uh, each one requires a ritual uh you have to basically be able to cast light uh to light up the pillar i don't know who has access to light conveniently enough if you have the ability to learn spells light is one you can learn out of the books in uh the library so i have Dancing lights, not quite. Uh, but uh, you have to be able to illuminate the pillars somehow. I'd probably be like dancing lights, probably fine. Fairy fire would also probably work. I got um, moonbeam. I have lightning breath. Moonbeam. Uh, moonbeam would moonbeam would probably work. Uh, light would work. Fairy fire. Some sort of ability to illuminate the pillar. Pillars have to be illuminated. Um, I can cast Fire Bolt on the trees. Please don't do that. I mean, <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> it didn't solve our problem, but it gave us a new one. Uh, and then, 
you basically have to uh, it, it, it basically is making arcana checks and uh, nature checks uh, to uh, manipulate the obelisks to deal with the actual like a uh, uh, ceiling essentially of this shadow thing um, that being said Bedard does assure you that as soon as you start doing this uh, the uh, shadow is not going to take that lightly yeah, yeah. it has a presence in this world now it's been allowed to uh, gather strength down here and so it will try to interfere with it okay Me a preload. God help us all. So Karakwa's got the nature, I would assume. I am the nature. Uh, there are three. Uh, in fact, I'll say you'll need an Arcana check for one pillar, a Nature check for one, and a Religion check for the other. The three main sort of spell casting things. Is Badar going to do the Arcana one, or is he kind of like heading the? The entire affair. Badar can do either the Arcana or the Nature one. Uh, he is not all particularly good at religion. I would rather him orchestrate, and I will keep him from getting murked by shadow people. So, however, you want to break uh, up the religion and the nature. I can, I can do religion. I'm 12. You're 12? And what is this? Uh, yes. No, uh, no nope, nope. Gracie, is someone here? Oh, is my Zaxby's? My dad's here. I can hear him. Uh oh. Did your dad. Are we gonna Did kill you... your dad now? Oh yeah. my god. Calling away, she's I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me uh. Go ahead and drag people to the scene. Alright, I'll be. I'll be back in a. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. We can't. Okay, so. Indeed. You've discovered that a brief rundown after our break, because I did have to get up for a while. Aruna, has, has it never struck you that you, odd that you've literally never run into a moon elf outside of your own little moon elf Compound. It's as if we said they were rare. How Indeed. Strange. The only moon elves on the material plane. It turns out that your family and indeed entire this entire sort of settlement of moon elves was given an important task. They were tasked with holding back an umbral beast, the dark side of the moon. They, the full moon side, you are a moon elf for a reason. You represent the light of the moon. And you had a, much like the light drives back darkness, that was ever the job of the moon elves that live here. To perform these rituals, to keep this umbral, this shadow beast away. And so it has been for generation upon generation upon generation upon generation. A secret passed down from clan leader to you know heir apparent one you were never able to gain because you, while you were the initial heir apparent you did certainly did not get that far and while Sarune also became that by default she went do her own thing and so it, it was falling to Badar but it never quite got there and that is where you find yourself now with the invasion of the uh, King of Black Everfrost and the evacuation of the Moon Elves from here, um, driven away by unusual circumstances, it has caused a lapse in the rituals that kept this beast at bay, that kept it from spreading its shadowy tendrils across the Coldwood and perhaps beyond. And so it falls to you now. Yeah, yeah. Three rituals that must be undertaken now under duress. Normally these would be done one at a time over the course of a year and they'd be fairly straightforward rituals. 
Indeed, it is likely that moon elves that were undertaking these rituals might not have even known that they were doing it. It might have just been like a, almost seemed like a festival or something to them. But they've been ever important. It is not a simple time now. It is not a simple task. Through unfortunate circumstance, you now have to do all three with some difficulty, as you know that the shadow has gained in strength. You've already seen it's reaching down here, manipulating the shadows, and it will not take you trying to bind it back lightly. So, this is the religion pillar. This is the uh, arcane pillar. I, I believe it was Badar that's doing the arcane pillar. Yep, I'll keep him safe. Ilkay will be there. I will do the religion, but I do have to be leaving soon, unfortunately. Um, well, maybe There's we'll have no to leave. maybe we'll have to do this fight next week because it is going to be a fight uh, while you protect okay. them. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it is, it is. And this one, Which one's religion? white uh, or green? The white one. White one is the religion. Uh, uh, Colin, you transferred the effect to me. No, you have you have this effect on oh. you. You have that. Oh. That's your that's your aura. That's your paladin aura. Oh my god. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's your paladin aura. Any things in that aura get your paladin bonus. And uh, the green one is the nature. Basically, primal. Go ahead and get a token for the redeemer. Uh, basically, uh, primal. Divine and arcane, essentially. The Redeemer already has a token. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just letting you move him around. You should be able to move him now. Sweet. All right. Uh. You array yourselves. Uh, who is doing the nature pillars? I guess I will. I'm somewhat okay with that. You're somewhat of a a nature wizard yourself. It's time <laughs> for nature me boy. to fail this Woo! nature roll. Mm -hmm. is, I'm um, guessing that's the green one, huh? Yep. The green one is the nature pillar. So, okay. The p other people have already moved to their pillar. I'm going to yep. go with Karakwa then, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure my Thread of Fate is attached to Karakwa. Karakwa right. and Alakul, the dream team from the top rope on this pillar, giving them the people's elbow! What? Yeah, can't Alakul wait for us to give, die. Alakul could give like four elbows at once. That's a lot of people's elbows, brother. That's true. The Hive's elbow. <laughs> oh no. The elbow of the collective. <laughs> Alright. Uh go ahead and people can put themselves wherever they want to on the map. I would like to stand so that everyone is within my paladin or so I will go there. Are we not doing it next week? Cause Connor. We will. We I, will be. I but I can. Matters. I can oh, set okay. up the fight. Yeah. I was making sure. Sorry. No, you're cool. I was. Just... All right. Uh. As you approach the pillars, uh, you can feel the shadow itself seems to watch you. The great darkened eyes, or the great sort of blazing eyes of the. Uh, lunar eclipse glow brightly and almost seem to narrow as you walk towards these pillars and almost immediately you can feel a swirling vortex of magical energy across each one uh, that almost seems to pull at you uh, almost like you're being whipped by a sandstorm 
it stings in a way, but it doesn't sting your skin. It stings your very essence, as if it cuts straight through your physical being into a metaphysical or arcane being. It's hard to explain, but at this level, you know, this shit just happens. This shit's Tuesday at level 19. This weird stuff. Hell yeah. It is Tuesday. And as you... Do you, you guys ever feel like this stuff just keeps on happening? Reach out. That was the idea. To begin manipulating the energies that surround these pillars, you immediately see the shadows begin to take form into a hulking mask of Dark Side from Kingdom Hearts. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. god. Good. Uh, that, that was what I was envisioning the whole time. I'm so happy right now. Uh, however, that fight will be next week as it will be... Colin, I, I hope you got that music track. ...on you to protect and defend the people undertaking the rituals to bind this creature. So, so do we all get keyblades? Can we mark who has the book? I think it's Badar. Yeah, yeah. Badar has got the book. But I, I, I'll, I'll be straight with you. It doesn't really matter. He's not okay, going okay. for the. He's we'll not sure. drawn to the book. He's drawn to the people that are manipulating the yeah. pillars. So, uh, but that'll yeah, be uh, like that or... that'll be next week. Klaus, go manipulate his pillar. Because Connor's got to go. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I need yeah. help picking up the house and shit. So really picking up a whole house, Jesus Christ! A whole house. Yep. I mean, yeah, you're probably gonna need. You got strong legs. legs. You, you three, though. We've been doing squats. Just, you know, just get a four clip. You can do it. All right, but we'll do that next. Is your week. wife 